Uh, to the orphanage! <laughs> Oh, shit. This is terrible. It's just... gone. Well, who do we have here? Are you here from the Bursar Guild? Yeah. You're all from Minoria, right? Yeah. We came to help pick up the pieces. We were here last night, around midnight, trying to fight the fire. As you can see, it could have gone better. So, then what about Matron Teresa and the kids? They're all fine, don't worry. Right now, they're sleeping at Minoria Inn. Given the size of the fire, it's a miracle that no one was badly hurt. Thank goodness. Yes, at least that's something. We're here now to clean up what we can. How about you two? We really ought to check up on everyone in the inn. Sorry, but they'll have to wait. Huh? Now that we're here at the scene of the crime, there's a lot that strikes me as weird. We need to find what clues we can before the trail goes cold, so to speak. I know how you feel, but this has to take precedence right now. Hmm. Right. We're bracers, after all. We have to find out what happened. Right. So let's see what we can find. Looks like you'll have your hands full. Good luck. I mean, he's right. We know that they're- we know that they're safe now. Oh, hey! The herbs have been uprooted and strewn about the garden. Because one thing to be looking for them but we know they're safe, so now let's do some investigation work. The barrels with food in them have been scorched black. Oh, a door. The door has been completely wrecked. Ugh, it's all pitch black. Huh? What's wrong? Maybe this is just me. But does the hinge here look weird to you? Like, it's been torn off or something? It does, actually. As if it could have... Could, as if it happened before the fire started is what he was going to say. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, this is where it got started. What was once a wall is now rubble. Wow, this place is ruined. Hey, do you smell something strange? Yes, I think I know why. Uh, oh, hello. The barrels with food in them have been scorched black. Uh, uh, oh, 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 a new thing! The milk tank has fallen on its side and is empty. The soil from the flower bed is all over the ground. Uh, oh, more. Errors have been up here. Okay, we already heard that, so... Oh. The firewood for the stove has been scattered around. Maybe used as kindling for the fire? The firewood for the stove has been strewn about. Um, uh, where else can I go that I haven't quite yet? I think it's been about... Oh, whoa, whoa. I could have swore I saw something. Okay, so I checked that already. Can't get inside, it seems. So maybe I could talk to these two. Since the fire has burnt so much, I guess the only thing to do is to rebuild. I don't know what Matron Teresa is going to do. I mean, it's going to be really expensive. Man, I was in shock yesterday. I mean, seeing the sky go all red in the east over Minoria. I tried to get here as quickly as I could, but everything was already gone. Alright, we've taken a good look around. What do you think? I'm not sure, to be honest. First off, the fire doesn't appear to have started in the building. It most likely started outside. Outside? Over there. It looks like this area is the point of origin. Ah. There, uh, where the wall collapsed. But, how can you tell? Because, 
The fire damage is worse here than everywhere else. Compare it to the areas nearby and you'll see. Oh, you're right. So, it started here, and then spread. You know what this means. Uh, well? It got caught in a forest fire, someone set the fire on purpose. Someone set the fire on purpose! My thoughts exactly. And that smell everywhere? It's some highly flammable oil. It's everywhere around here. So this had to be the fire's point of origin. No way. Plus, don't you think it's weird how everything outside is scattered around? Even the people fighting the fire wouldn't have done that to the herb garden. It's not a coincidence someone did this. It, is that true? Ah, she popped into existence! Chloe! I didn't know you were here. But why? Why would anyone do this? I have so many irreplaceable memories of this place. Why? How? How could someone, or, yeah, how could someone do anything so cruel? Chloe. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just so confused. I, I... You're not alone in this feeling. I barely know the place. And this bothers the heck out of me, too. It's hard to believe that anyone could be capable of something so awful. Estelle. But the matron and the kids are all okay. So we can be thankful for that, right? Hmm. Thank you. That does help. I just started morning classes when the dean came to see me. He said that he heard that the orphanage was in flames. And while I was on my way here, all I could think about was, they're fine. They're alive. Adios was watching over them. Hmm. Well, we heard that they're all at the inn in Minaria, safe and sound. We just finished up here, so we're planning to go see them. Do you want to come with us? Y yes, I would like that very much. All right, then. To Minaria we go. <gasps> Friendship powers activate. Time to go check out Minaria Inn. Wherever that may be. Minaria Village, this way! Woo! At the speed of tippy taps. Uh, is... nope. Mmm, yes. I, I briefly lost connection with my controller. I will talk to you. Uh, it's a Royal Academy uniform. Is your name Chloe by any chance? Yes, why do you ask? The children from the orphanage talk about you a great deal. They're all upstairs in the big room. You should go and see them whenever you get the chance. Oh, I will. Pardon me. Away. Uh, she said big room. That's not it. There it is! Matron! Everyone! I mean, that was Chloe. So, whoops. Miss Chloe! You came! Is everyone hurt? We're okay. <laughs> I is okay. Thank goodness. Gotta teach you grammar. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Is that Estelle and Joshua I see with you? Yes, since someone contacted the guild. We're investigating the incident and thought we'd stop by. I see. Thank you for taking the time. Investigating? You mean about the fire, right? Do you know who did it? Um... Well, how do I put it? Estelle and Joshua exchanged awkward glances. So, um, who's hungry? I missed breakfast, so I was thinking about getting some food. Good boys and girls who join me will get some sweet treats. Really? I just want some pudding! B but hmm. Come on, Clem. Huh? Quit griping and come on! Let's go downstairs, Miss Chloe! <laughs> okay. Phew. That was close. Really wouldn't want the little kids to hear about this. Indeed. Although, I get the feeling that Mary understands at least some of what's happening. <laughs> yes, isn't she great? I'm happy to have her around. Now, 
You were saying? Please, tell me what you can. Thanks for your understanding. Okay, then. First, we checked out where the fire started. And it does appear that it was set deliberately. My suspicions were correct, then. I've always been very careful about fire, so I suspected it. Might be something like that. Controller? This isn't the time! Do you have any idea who could have done this? Whoever was responsible must have had some kind of motivation. I have no idea. We have no real money to speak of, nor has anyone ever borne a grudge against us. So, it wasn't a robbery, and it wasn't for revenge. We have to acknowledge the possibility that someone did it just for fun. Did you happen to notice anything unusual leading up to the to, to or during the incident? Any strange people hanging around the orphanage, for instance? Yes, actually. Not during the daytime, but when uh, but when you were there, but afterwards. Though, I can't imagine he would do something like that. Who's he? While we were trying to escape from the burning building, the beams fell in and blocked our way through the entrance hall. And then he showed up and helped us all get free. We owe him our lives. R really? Was he Minorian? Right after he helped us, he called the villagers over and left in the confusion. I asked the other villagers about him, but no one seemed to know anything. Sounds suspicious. What business would anyone have around the orphanage at such a late hour? Did you notice anything in particular about him? He was a man, maybe in his late twenties. He also had brilliant silver hair. Silver hair? He had a troubled look about him. Though, that made him seem far older than he looked. But, he didn't strike me as a bad man. He sounds suspicious, but he did help you out. Doesn't sound like our guy to me. Hmm. Joshua? What's with the goofy stare? Oh, it's nothing. Perhaps he was just a bracer who happened to pass by. I think that we should disregard him as a sus suspect. Um, okay. Pardon me. Oh, hi, Chloe. Where are the children? <laughs> They're downstairs, having some dessert. Matron Teresa, you have a guest. Hmm? Part of my intrusion. Oh! Mayor Delmore. Oh. So the bracers I met yesterday are here as well. Jean's reputation for responding quickly is well earned. Now then. It's good to see you again, Matron Teresa. After I heard what happened, I came over as quickly as I could. I'm glad that you're safe. Thank you, Mayor. It's very kind of you to come by. I know you're a very busy man. Nonsense. It is my responsibility to look after all areas of the region. More to the point. Those who did this must be must not be allowed to get away with it. Joseph always loved that place. Such an atrocity. Allow me to express my most heartfelt condolences. Thank you. But I am sure that he would just be relieved that his children are alive and well. My sole regret is that all my mementos of him were lost to the fire. Matron Teresa. Tell me, Bracers, have you any thoughts on who might have done this? We've only just begun our investigation, so it's too early to say, sir. It does look like it might have been done simply out of malice, however. I see. What a terrible thought. For something so heinous to happen, in such a peaceful place. Pardon me, Mayor. Hmm? What is it? Do you think that those people might have a hand in this? Hmm. Whoa, hold up! Who do you mean by those people? You encountered them yesterday. The ruffians down in the warehouse district of Ruin. Oh, them. Hmm. Perm my bluntness, but what makes you suspect them? They've been openly defying the mayor for quite some time now. 
They certainly seem to get their kicks out of causing trouble for him. And since he and Matra Teresa are friends, it... Gilbert! S sir Mild speculation does not... Uh, does no one any good. This is a dire offense. We must have no false accusations. M my apologies, sir. That was foolish of me. I think it would be best to let the bracers identify the l and locate the ones responsible. Can I count on your help? Sure. Leave to us. We will devote our full attention to it, sir. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, Matron Teresa, I do have one question to ask. What is it? What do you plan to do with the orphans now? orphanage now? Rebuilding will take time and a, and a not inconsiderable amount of Mera to complete. Hmm. Honestly, I'm at a loss. We have a modest reserve of Mira, but the cost will be phenomenal. Matron. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Well, I have a proposal of sorts for you. What might that be? At the Delmar Estate in Grand Cell, I have a villa. It's only used for special occasions, so... What say you to having the children stay there for a little while? Oh. And, of course, charging rent would be particularly boorish of me. You'd be welcome to stay there for as long as the rebuilding process takes. But... There's no need for you to shoulder the burden of our troubles. But the villa sits unused. If you have misgivings, then I will grant you control of the grounds. Think of it as a well-deserved reward, if you will. Mayor. May I have some time to think it over? Your offer is most generous, but I can barely process it with everything going on. Perfectly understandable. You would get some rest. I must be off as well. If you decide to accept, please feel free to contact me. I will. Thank you very much. Let us go, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Wow, that was a shock. He's certainly the generous type on par with Mayor Maybell. Indeed, particularly in light of his being a former noble. What do you intend to do in regards to the mayor's offer, matron? Well, what do you think of the situation? Conventional wisdom dictates that you should accept it. However, once you've gone to Rensel... Oh, never mind me. <laughs> you always were such a thoughtful child. It's alright. I want you to give me your honest opinion. The herb garden and the people I care about would be gone. So, and with you and Joseph gone, I feel like all of my good memories will fade away. I'm sorry, I'm just being stupid and selfish. <laughs> I share your feelings. The orphanage is home to my memories of him, as well as the children's memories. But though memories are precious, having a place to live is at the utmost importance. Yes, ma'am. I believe this will all be sold soon. Please try to focus on tending to the campus fe uh, campus festival for now. The children are really looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. Estelle and Joshua. I wish I could be of more help, but I must leave the investigation in your hands. We will handle it, ma'am. We're going to take the culprit down. You can count on it. This sure has turned into a royal mess. Where should we start the search? Hmm. Maybe we should go to the guild and report back to Jean. We can figure out a plan of attack then. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Something wrong? You look like something's bugging you. Oh, I'm sorry. My mind is just all over the place right now. I know how you feel. By the way, Joseph was Matron Teresa's husband, right? Yes. He died several years ago, but he meant a great deal to me as well. I see. Wait, does it mean you're from the orphanage too? No, nothing like that. He just did a huge favor for me a long time ago. 
we grew close again when I came to Ruin to attend the Academy. Oh, I see. So in other words, every time you came by to play, you ended up helping out, like, parts of the family. Yes. He was like a father to me. But the shock I experienced was nothing compared to that of the Matron and the other children. But we managed somehow. Miss Chloe! Again, it's another children, or it's another child, or another feminine voice, and I gave it a very masculine voice, where I was just like, Chloe! <laughs> Uh, Mar Meryl, Mar bleh, Mary, I read the exclamation point SNL. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm not tired. It's not two in the morning. <laughs> Mary, what's gotten you into such a hurry? Listen. Hey, listen. Clem's gone. Huh? I freaking figured. Y you don't mean he's left Minaria. Can you give us some more details? Okay. After that old man showed up, Clem went upstairs. In a couple minutes, he came back down all red in the face saying, They're not getting away with this! Then he just ran off! I wonder who he meant. Oh my god, he overheard- Ah, oh, Gilbert! <laughs> I can't blame Gilbert. <laughs> he didn't know that Clem was listening. You don't suppose it's- uh, the orphanages, arsonists, Meridel Moore and his steward, the gang at the warehouse. Yes, I believe it was the Ravens. You probably overheard what the steward said. No, no. I hope he's not planning to go and find them himself. It, it can't be. I can't allow this. I have to find him at once. Who will come with you? If we hurry, we might be able to catch him before he gets it gets to ruin. Miss Chloe. Don't you worry. I'll bring him back safely. You just look after the other children, alright? Okay, good luck. Let's head back to Ruin. Alright. <gasps> to Ruin! Ah! We must find Clam! Next time! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fight. Hey. Is this your backside? It is. Alright, cool. Preemptive strike! Alright. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe, press that bell, like, share, all those things. Neat. I've been healed. That helps out the channel tremendously. Not the healing, but uh, all the other things. Oh my god, it explodes! I didn't know that. Alright, well, whatever. Anyways, yes, that helps out the channel tremendously. I'm fighting again. It's a surprise attack. Shit. Alright, anyways, bye! <laughs>